Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time for a request from I guess one of my subscribers um, to do a grenade throw and for example this is the easiest way which most video games have you just have a static guy he's just checking hey are you in this specific box here and then start throwing this is just basically it if he's not well he's not throwing so if you wanted to do, uh, get to know how to do that in Game Maker Studio plus the trail of the grenade this is a little bonus from my side um, stay tuned this is 1UP Indie I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you are new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because I try to upload every day or every second day a video and share my stuff that would be pretty sweet and of course you know do the other stuff upvote la 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 so um a little thing just from my side i tried to do a little experiment and as you can see i kind of failed i wanted that you downvote this thing so maybe uh something will trigger uh but yeah that didn't go correctly so i guess my bad um, didn't specify it good enough so you actually downvote it all so because uh, as you can see didn't work as intended um if you are a youtube creator give me a little um text because i am kind of curious because i'm not sure what's happening now there is a since um august of 2019 there's an aberration so basically if you're having um 99k and 999 subscribers then it will just show 99k it's just rounding down this is so people don't uh, watch their whole thing live so this is actually pretty bad for sites like social bait and so on didn't know about this stuff but normally uh, your subscribers should be uh, um, well and 24 count so 24 hours should be accurate which is kind of curious because for me after I, uh, how can I say it, after I not registered, or after I verified it, pretty much blasted all my subscribers. The stuff which I was getting per video, so let's say 10 to 7 subscribers, just got completely annihilated. And I'm not sure why that is happening. So if you are a YouTube creator and you have any idea what's happening after 1k, maybe this is normal, not sure about that, just drop me a comment because... I'm actually curious what's happening here but you came for the video tutorial so let's get into the good stuff and so what it what is basically there just one enemy i just planted in here and then later on i'll show you how you can multiple ones because once you know one you know them all and let's kill all that stuff so what is the first thing which we actually want to do so we want to throw some grenades so let's go into the step event so here var grenade so this is a thing maybe you already have seen so just create an instance create a grenade and now we want to, to give it uh, some properties like uh, nah, nah, nah. like direction and speed and for example maybe we don't want to do that all the time and therefore I'm just doing something like this. I'm having a timer. So hopefully this is not too confusing for you. So basically I'm running down a timer. So this is uh, well, the timer and the, every 120 steps. So every two seconds it refreshes. So basically I run it down. If it's zero, then I reset it to the original time. So the timer, which is going all the time down it's just getting reset and then in this instance i create my first grenade and he will be just throwing all the time so this is the, just the basic stuff how you can actually set up a throw guy you can see he's throwing that stuff <laughs> pretty upwards and this is of course which you don't want to have and therefore you need to give it some extra parameters which is gravity and gravity is just the force which is going downwards gravity direction then once we start it because gravity direction is 270 degrees so this is downwards and what you will be seeing now is just throwing these things just all the time 
without well, the player in range. But this is not an AI for now, this is just a mechanical thing which it is doing. So here we have our first thing, but maybe we want to have a thing which are called in range. And therefore we just put that above our throwing and we just throw if we are in range. So if we are in this specific uh, rectangle, which I'm going to discuss in a few seconds. Now, for now, because that thing is as, as default, uh, well, false, then he won't be throwing. So how can we actually do this? And now for that, we need to do and understand a few things. I already did this video. Come on, come on, go, on, go, 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 go. And for that, we need to establish a few things. First of all, I'm having two variables which are called distance x and y. This is our first point. So this is a um, checkpoint if the player or whatever you're checking is around that. And around this point, I'm gonna spawn a rectangle. So distance point x and y, this will be the green point here. So let's say, for example, I wanted to check if the player is somewhere here. And then around that, I want to make a collision rectangle, so I make a draw a rectangle, something like this. And therefore from this point I want to go left, I want to go well here left and this is right, and up and down. And for that I need other variables which are called range x and range y. So basically I'm just checking from this point minus this range and plus the range. And for example if I draw this rectangle, so here you are saying hey plus because this is always a situational where the, the player is so here plus the distance x until so this this green point x same with the y version and then minus range x and minus range y so basically this is minus and uh, minus so we got in this point and then we want need to just have this point and this is how we spawn a rectangle. Uh, where is my mouse? Ah, here we go. And this is what I do. So basically plus x and minus x and we do uh, well, draw a rectangle around it. So once again let's go in here. So you actually see the rectangle in action. So basically this is just a rectangle. So you can imagine the middle point, the green one which is inside here and then to the left, to the right and up and down. And then this is then checking, hey, is the player around? So for now, it's just a rectangle, but let's do that with a collision. So we just go and say some, do something like this. Because now we are just doing the collision checking and then we are pretty much done with the player here. Come on, go away. Go bam. And what do we want to check? Well, the same stuff which we already have here. So. Come on, we just put in those parameters in the collision rectangle. In the collision rectangle, for example, if you go F1, it will return uh, well an instance. So basically, if you're hitting something, then it will return an instance. No one if it's hitting nothing. This, of course, will be checked every uh, step once, so 60 times per second. So what do we actually need here? Well, the thing which we want to collide with, which is our player object, so this is uh, uh, this guy over here, and well, the other stuff you can ignore as usual, no, no, bye bye, and then, well, we have um, a variable which just stores uh, no one or the instance. And now we can actually work with that. For example, this is a regular thing, for example, it's just saying, hey, if instance is no one, so this is like the cookie cutter stuff, so bam, if it is um, not no one, then we say, hey, the in range, so we are in range because we're having a collision, is true. And of course, if we are having none of that, we can of, of course say else, the negative version, it is false. No, here we go. Now let's say for example we start it again. And then you already have basically everything set up which you basically which you wanted. Because 
without saying I, I am in range and then start throwing those things. And of course, what you need to know is just the point where you want to have uh, the player to be or where to attack to because for now it is not a projecting, it's just checking, okay, are you in this kind of uh, rectangle? So how can we do that for, let's say, another guy which we put in, let's say, Grenada here, bam, let's say, let's say a little bit more above. And then what we can do, we just give him our cookie cutter uh, variables and just put in a decoration called BAM. Of course, we want to be hmm, a little bit more to the left. So let's give it a distance of, let's say, 160, 170 and a little bit more downwards. And let's try it again. And as you can see, this is how you can set up all the other grenades if you have having more in the room so for example as you can see this guy is throwing of course but you need to now adjust the values so it is here where the actual impact is because now he's throwing because we are touching this right there so this is how you can actually set up the whole player so what is the other stuff which you can do and of course this is again just a bonus you don't really need that for example for the grenade what i'm doing first of all I'm having collisions with the player or with the wall, which is this green thing down here, so it doesn't fly for infinity. And then I just destroy it and create on top of it another uh, well object, which I call object explosion. This one is a dummy. So basically, this is just going through all its uh, well, animations. If it's hitting the last one, instance destroy. So this is add event other animation and bam then it's just basically go gone and what is the other stuff which the grenade is doing it is having an alarm so every three steps it's hitting the alarm and then it's looping because it's refreshing its alarm by three and then we are creating kind of a trail this is of course optional so if you just wanted to know how the simple ai works then you're pretty much done but this is a shadow trail. I did another one which is called shadow dash, but this one was made with um, particle system. This is a less effective way because you are pretty much spamming lots of objects in here, which is not effective if you're doing lots of grenades. But just for, let's say, uh, this tutorial, this should be enough. So what I'm doing, I'm just creating a new object, which I call object shadow. Then I give it the sprite index. So I'm just passing in well, that sprite into the newly created thing for example if it's rotating it will be rotated as well so this is kind of making it a believable trail blend it a little bit make it less uh, well visible because it's not one it's just 0.4 and yeah and what does the shadow do basically it is just well, destroying after 45 steps so almost a second after a second it is gone and in its step event it's just uh, reducing its alpha so it's fading out and let's say for example we started and then we're pretty much done because this is the whole tutorial um the easy stuff just saying hey you can see they are having this trail which looks kind of neat what you're seeing here bam just checking if in range throwing running the timer down then well it's doing its trail and this is just basically it and of course if you're thinking okay how does that work in range once again this is just for debugging for me just hey um saying if it's in range then you draw this text if you're not in range draw this text and then well you draw a text so not too complicated hopefully and well that was pretty much it and please write in the comments if you are a youtuber yourself and you know what's actually going on i'm just confused why um my subscriber counts are well working against me as it seems or if it's bugged or, if, or this is after 1000 a normal thing i'm not sure about this because i was used to seven to ten subscribers uh, per video and now it's zero to one maybe so not sure if this is my content or if the system is bugged or something needs to be adjusted 
just drop me a comment that would be really helpful for me okay so that was it for today have a good one one up indeed <laughs>